Welcome to the seventh video on building a social network with Go. In this one, we are going to build the endpoint to update the user's avatar. We will need these two dependencies, so let's do a Go get. Before updating the user's table, let me add some foreign keys I forgot in the follows table. There. So, in the users table, we just need to add an avatar field. Let's add the avatar URL to the user struct as well. I'm using a pointer because it can be null. For the update avatar function, I'll receive a reader, do the magic, and return the new avatar URL. Let's start by checking authentication. Then, I'll limit the bytes to read. I don't want users to overload the server. 5 megabytes should be enough. Now. I will use the image package to decode those bytes as an image. Then, I'll check for PNG and JPEG images only. Now, I want to create a random file name for the avatar, so I will use the nano ID package we downloaded before. I will append the corresponding extension to the file name. Now I need to create the actual avatar file. I will prepare a folder to save the avatars in. Now, using the imaging package we downloaded before, we can resize the image. Then, write it to the file with the corresponding codec. Now. We need to update the user avatar in the database. Here, I'm only saving the file name. I also want to return the old avatar, to remove it from disk. If an error occurs here, remember to remove the avatar we just created. Remove the old avatar.
And finally, return the avatar as URL. I don't like to hard code the server URL here. So, let's receive it from the main function. Since we are here, I think I'll receive these configurations from environment variables. Now, we can accept the origin in our service. Better. Now, we can build the full URL with it. Let's code the HTTP handler now. The reason I exported the max avatar bytes to read from the service package, was to use it here and limit the request body here as well. Done. Let's update the database schema, build and test it. I have an image here to play with it. Looking good. The image was correctly resized. If you send the request multiple times, you can see that you get a new avatar URL, and the old file gets removed. OK. That is done. Now, let's update all the user SQL queries to add the avatar.
That should cover it. Let's just do a quick test on these endpoints. As you see, the avatar URL is now present there. And that is all for this video. See you in the next.